Hello, and today I'm going to be going over some of my old footage of me creating a McDonald's logo in pixel art. I really like pixel art, I've gotten really into pixel art lately. Um, so yeah, I've just been really enjoying it. And I'm kind of going to go over my workflow for this project as we're watching it. So let's just get straight into it. So originally I only wanted to use a 16 by 16 pixels grid. Similarly enough, I thought this would be the best size for my artwork, though later on I do end up changing it. I thought about using this vertical tool so everything I do on one side is the same on the other. However, I didn't end up using it too much on the final piece, though these early few test designs I very much did. I was really struggling to actually create a McDonald's logo at first, like what we're watching here. Like I was struggling very uh, heavily, simply enough because an M is quite a hard thing to do. It's like the largest letter, if I believe. So it's quite hard to draw, and with a logo being like this, you need to kind of know how to do a good M. But I was really struggling trying to convert this into pixel art. Because of this, I had to get up a lot of uh, reference images, some of which were McDonald's reference images. Going from basic to a uh, five pixel long to a larger, more detailed canvas. Something that I also found out was that colour is actually extremely important for projects like these. With McDonald's being basically just two colours, so basically becoming one bit art, you kind of need to know exactly what you're doing with it. For instance, these two reds are very recognisable on McDonald's logos. However, uh, it's also quite hard to get these reds quite realistic because they're quite bleached and everything like this. Within my colour, um, within my editing software, within my pixel art software, I don't actually have the ability to change saturation. I only have the ability to change hue, I believe. So. I'm kind of limited on that regard, but I don't think it overly bothers me too much. That's not even true. Colours are really important, that's what I'm trying to say. Colours are really important when trying to do this. Now, at this point, I was enlarging the canvas. I believe I've enlarged it to 140 by 140, or 108, or by 108. Something I find is the best, especially if you want to like reference your thing, uh, reference your piece up to a higher grade of quality, is doing it by 108 by 108 because that is an exact multiple of 1080 by 1080. So if you want to put it on like uh, Instagram, that is probably the best size for it. I think everywhere takes 1080 by 1080 images because that's the basic HD. However, if you're making something for film, you'll probably want to do like 1008 by 197, 1008 by 197 is probably what you would want to do. So I got the basic shape down, though I do end up refining this quite a lot. And then I added in some uh, shading. The shading was obviously very well needed. It was kind of just the majority of the point. Hopefully you can't hear my PC. And yeah, I've gone down for a much lower brush at this point, just simply enough because the shading needs to be a bit nicer. I decided to do the shading in dark red because the shading in dark yellow it lengthened the McDonald's sign out when really you want to not lengthen the McDonald's sign out. You kind of want to keep the McDonald's sign as the McDonald's sign. That was awfully explained. Basically when I was highlighting in yellow it would make the McDonald's sign look bigger like the McDonald's sign was actually below the red background. And that's not really what I want to make. I kind of want to make the McDonald's sign look as if it's on the red background. So by having the highlights, uh, the shading being red around the M, it kind of gives the implication that gives the implication that the McDonald's sign is on the red background. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm actually really want to make this type of content where I'm just sitting down and talking to you, but I'm really struggling. I'll get used to it, I'll get used to it. So this is more of refinement. Again, going back to reference images. Uh, though I really did not want to use as reference images as much as I did end up using this reference image. There's also a lot of resizing I have to do during this process. I think why I made the McDonald's sign at the point too much is too arced at the moment. There's not enough straight within the M's lines. Uh, this also isn't a video about shading, but if you're wondering why I'm shading it the way I am shading it, is because I pictured the light source being above it. So, well, the way I picture it is my light source being to the left of it. 
left of me probably you watching it left of the viewer watching this so i kind of wanted to do the the highlights underneath it because of this i kind of regret doing i do end up keeping the highlights on the left side of the m along with the right side of the m really i should have done the highlights only on the right side the shading i don't know why i keep saying highlights so my workflow for this project is at the moment just more like thickening out the m it was quite thin uh, this is looking a lot more right. Again, I'm just filling around with a few extra bits. Just getting it so I like it a bit more. Adding in the shading again where I got rid of the shading. Uh, this is probably the best example. Is it's always really good to zoom out of your project. Because especially with pixel art, I find it especially uh, about if you look at it from a close perspective for too often, you tend up getting enhanced by it meant to be looking like that. So for instance, if I stay this zoomed in, I will um, try and make a look good within that uh, zoomed in perspective. But what you gotta remember if it's made for something such as a game or um, uh, Instagram post or something like that, they're gonna be seeing it from quite a far away angle. So the fact that the McDonald's logo looks so good close up, it's kind of irrelevant because if you do make it an asset in a game or something like that, they're being going to be watching it and a small part of the center. Great, that was my phone going off. <laughs> At this point, I was going over doing some of the uh, text. I wanted the word McDonald's underneath it. And uh, this is actually before I started like working on uh, bit text because the work I've done here is actually not drastically bad, uh, though I don't think I kept to a consistent proportion sideways I did keep it um, lengthways so uh, through my x and y I made my x's sometimes a lot larger than my y's I also you can see me here going back and just fixing some of the proportions like they were either just too far away or too together there was another in um, discord message if you can tell me how to turn those off please do and then I was just proportioning that correctly with the m and then I think I did a few other like small little fix ups but um nothing massive so yeah with that being said hopefully this can give you a better insight on my workflow process and i'm just gonna go in and show you the final image right now